Good day everyone, this is CK and welcome to our basic accounting online tutorial, Advanced Studying at Home Before Starting Your Accountancy Journey. Ito na, ito na yung video na hinihintay natin para sa mga naririnig natin pagdating sa basic accounting na nag-journalize daw ng mga transactions, ganyan. So dito sa video tutorial natin ngayon, um, dito tayo magsisimula ng ating um, pag-journalize ng isang problem with um, different transactions because our topic for this um, problem and solution video tutorial natin ay tungkol sa journalizing. Okay? So, medyo madali pa lang yung um, i-journalize natin na mga transactions ngayon at kaunti pa lang kasi para magkaroon lang tayo ng background on how to journalize different accounting transactions. Okay? So, let's start. So, sabi dito, um, journalize the following transactions. So, ito lang yung i-journalize natin ng mga accounting transactions. Medyo madali lang tong um, video natin. So, meron pa tayong um, kasunod na parts na medyo mahirap-hirap para uh, magkaroon ng challenge sa inyo yung pag-journalize ng mga um, accounting transactions. But here, um, padaliin lang muna natin. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 transactions lang. Aalamin natin kung ano yung dapat nating i-debit at ano yung dapat nating i-credit. And medyo um, magkakaroon na kayo ng idea on this one kapag um, napanood nyo na yung mga previous videos natin kasi nahasa na tayo doon on how to um, record our accounting transactions, kung ano yung mga naapektuhang transactions or accounts and sila ba ay dapat na debit or credit, mga ganong bagay. Okay? So, kung napanood nyo na yung mga previous videos natin, mani-mani na lang sa inyo yung mga i-journalize natin na transactions ngayon. Okay? So, let's start with our letter A. So, sabi dito, our transaction is receive 260,000 pesos cash from clients for services rendered. So, naka-receive naka daw tayo ng cash galing dun sa nirender natin na service for our clients. So, our debit here is cash and credit service revenue with our amounts na 260,000 pesos. Okay? So, cash, debit, kasi naka-receive tayo. That is increase. That is normal um, normal balance and normal amount ng isang business. So, nag-increase yung ating cash account. So, siya ay nasa debit. And nag-increase nag din yung ating revenue from this, from our um, services na render So, naka-earn tayo dito ng revenue. So, we have service revenue na 260,000 pesos. Next one, for our letter B, paid 480,000 of salaries to employees. So, ano naman yung mga um, journal entries natin for this one? So, for our um, journal entries, our debit here is salaries expense and credit cash. Bakit? Kasi nagbayad tayo ng salaries to our employees, that salaries expense, and yung ipinambayad natin ay cash, so bawas yon sa ating cash. So dahil um, decrease siya in our cash account, our credit is cash, and automatically our salaries expense ay nasa debit side. Next naman we have collected 120,000 pesos from clients on account. So, our credit here is cash and um, credit accounts receivable with amount na 120,000 pesos. Bakit naman ganito yung ating journal entries? Because we collected um, payment from clients on account. Kapag sinabing on account at client yung pinag-uusapan natin dito, ibig sabihin meron tayong receivables from our clients. At dahil yung mga receivables na yon ay nakolekta na natin or nabayaran na tayo ni or ng mga clients natin for our services rendered, mababawasan na yung ating um, 
balance for accounts receivable, so siya ay mapupunta na sa ating credit side, then debit sa ating cash kasi nag-collect tayo ng payment. Next, the owner Virginia Ruben withdrew 80,000 pesos cash for personal use. So, um, naka, naglabas tayo ng pera or naglabas yung ating owner, si Ruben, ng 80,000 pesos. So, yun ay ginamit for, person, for personal use. So, our journal entries here is um, debit Ruben withdrawal, 80,000 pesos and credit cash, 80,000 pesos. Next. Purchased 140,000 pesos of supplies on account. So, nag-purchase daw tayo ng supplies on account. So, our journal entries here is supplies, debit, 140,000 and credit, accounts, payable, 140,000. So, on account siya. So, ibig sabihin, nag-purchase, da, uh, inutang daw natin yung pinurchase natin na supplies. Kaya meron tayo t- dito na credit side ay, or credit entry na accounts payable. And dahil nadagdagan yung ating supplies because we purchased supplies, yan ay nasa ating debit side. For letter F, build clients 180,000 for services rendered. So, pag ganito yung nangyayari na transaction, nag, um, nagpadala tayo ng bill sa ating clients para sa service na nirender natin. Our journal entries here is debit accounts receivable 180,000 pesos and credit service revenue na 180,000 pesos din. So, bakit naging ganito yung nangyari? Kapag binil kasi natin yung clients natin, ibig sabihin, natapos na natin yung service o yung trabaho natin doon kay client. Okay? Kaya, kaya tayo nagpapadala ng bill. Same goes with um, electricity bill. ba diba, um, saka lang tayo pinapadalhan ng electricity bill kung nakonsume na natin yung electricity na babayaran natin, ba diba? Hindi naman nagpapadala ng electricity bill nang hindi pa natin nakoconsume yung electricity na yon Okay, and dahil doon, marirelate natin siya dito sa ating transaction. Kaya, yung ating journal entry, we have debit na accounts receivable. Ibig sabihin, may, um, may marireceive tayo in the future na bayad from our clients because we rendered service, which is earned um, service na siya. Kaya, we have credit na service revenue. And lastly, For our last transaction, we have paid 100,000 pesos to suppliers on account. So, pag nagbayad tayo sa suppliers, ano ba yung ginawa natin? At on account pa siya. So, our journal entries here is debit accounts payable and credit cash. Bakit galit naman yung nangyari? Um, dito kasi, hindi... Probably naisip nyo na ang magiging ang naapektuhang account dito ay supplies. Pero dahil nagbabayad tayo ng utang natin, yun kasi yung, tran- yung interpretation with this transaction. Paid 100,000 to suppliers on account. Ibig sabihin, um, um, binabayaran natin yung utang natin from our suppliers. Kasi from the word on account or for the praise na on account. Okay? Kaya, ang naging debit natin dito ay accounts payable kasi probably meron tayo ditong transaction or initial transaction na um, nag-credit tayo ng accounts payable from purchasing supplies. Ngayon, dahil binabayaran na natin siya, we debit accounts payable and we credit cash kasi naglabas tayo ng cash from our business. And that's how we journalize these transactions. Okay? Here sa ating screen, we have the summary of our journal entries. So, kulang pa yung journal entries niyan because... Um, we should have explanations pa sa bawat transaction sa baba ng credit um, entries natin. Pero for the sake of um, recording it, 
Doon lang sa quantity side ng pagre-record, ang ni-record lang natin dito ay yung ating mga accounts and yung mga um, amounts na corresponding dun sa mga sa mga transactions na to. And kung titignan ninyo or mapapansin ninyo, every transaction parehas lang yung amount ng um, debit at ng credit. It's it is because kailangan pagdating ng dulo ay mag-balance tayo. Okay? Kailangan uh, mabalanse natin lahat ng ating debit entries at credit entries for us to um, consider it na tama yung ni-record natin. Okay? Hinding-hindi yan magbabago yung total ng debit at ng credit sa bawat transactions. And that's how we journalize this certain problem. Kung may natutuhan ka sa tutorial na ito, please like this video and click the subscribe button para updated ka sa mga susunod pa nating video tutorials. Maraming salamat sa panonood and see you on our next videos.